Hey guys, it's Punkify for League Top 10, and today I have a special little announcement slash thing to show you guys. Now, for the longest time, League of Legends has been without any type of replay function. They're actually developing it, Riot's continuously developing it supposedly, but it's taking quite a while for that to come out. The result is any League of Legends videos that you create or that you wish to create has to be done through Fraps or any comparable recording program. Now the problem or downside with that is those recording programs take up lots of gigabytes in size for a relatively small amount of video. Meaning that if you're just recording a full game, what the problem is you actually see 40 to 50, 60 gigabytes at times for an entire League of Legends game, which isn't feasible for pretty much almost anybody except for people specifically with computers built for you know doing video. Now, however, one of the US side uh, players has actually collaborated with a couple other players to actually create a League of Legends replay function. This League of Legends replay function works surprisingly well in that you see everything from your team side. You can't see all the teams, you know, both sides, but you see everything from your team side and you're able to move around through the actual, you know, battlefield, look at the player's items. Uh, look at, you know, how far a tower has been pushed. Also look at the shop items um, as if you were an observer. Um, and it's actually quite good. I'm actually fairly surprised by it. Uh, there are, of course, little bugs here and there. But overall, the quality is pretty superb. And I really am excited to see where this can go. Because in the meantime, without Riot Replays, which I'm sure Riot Replays will include every function we could ever imagine for replays for League of Legends. However, in the meantime, this offers a viable solution to people who want to actually record clips of them doing really awesome stuff and share it with the community, share it with other people. And in fact, this offers a viable solution for League Top 10 to actually do League Top 10 plays because you don't actually have to record full clips. You don't have to record your full game. You can simply use this free program to record an entire replay, 5 to 10 megabytes, which, I mean, come on, 5 to 10 megabytes, that's no size. That's that's for anybody that's fine you don't have to turn down your video settings to play because it runs very small amount of processing power to actually use it and you can just send that actual replay to me or to whoever else you want to share it with and they can replay it back on their computer as if they were in the game themselves so I wanted to actually kind of show you guys how it works and what you can actually do with it now in order to get the program you're just going to go to the website you see on screen which is lol replays and you're going to download it from the link there it's not malicious in any way i've already tested it out i've already had other people test it out and so you don't have to worry about it hacking league of legends your account or hacking your computer it's perfectly fine um, and what you're going to do is once you download it, if you're just going to install it in a computer. Now, if you're using Windows 7, I know for a fact for Windows 7, you should not actually install it in program files because it conflicts with that somehow. So the best way for you to actually do it is to install it on like your desktop or some specific folder outside of program files and then run it as an administrator. Now, when you run it as an administrator, what it will do is it will show up this little tiny icon on the screen in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, it'll say, you know, it's running that your, your games will be recorded. And then once you actually click on that, you'll actually see the full application. Now, when you click on the application, what you'll be able to see is you'll be able to see who actually was playing in the replay. And once you select the replay on the left hand side, you'll be able to see the time of the game and which map it is. So it's very versatile for you to be able to actually select the replay you want to review. In fact, you can actually rename the replay and you can delete them and, and play them just from this area right here. Now, if you want to actually play the replay, all you're going to do is you're going to select the replay you want, but you need to make sure that League of Legends is open. The game has to be open in order for you to replay the actual animation or replay the actual game. And what you do is once you have it open, you'll select the replay you want to play, you'll hit play, and it will start loading up like it's a normal League of Legends game. As you can see on the screen now, it's actually loading up the game as if I was going to be playing. You'll see me here with a friend named Reap, and you'll see the two bots at the bottom. And so it'll actually load like you're waiting for those people to actually load on the screen. Now, once you're in game, it'll show everything like you would have seen from your perspective immediately. You'll be able to browse the shop and look at people. But look, the important thing is you'll be able to look around the entire map while your character does whatever you did at the moment during that game. So you'll see here that I start moving off the screen here and I'm not moving with them. I'm not, you know, the camera's not forcing itself to go wherever I went. I'm going wherever I want to go. 
which is amazing. You know, that inc helps you incredibly in order for you to be able to view, you know, what happened top or bottom, you know, without you actually having to be limited to what's, whatever you recorded at the time that you actually played the game. It also records things like pings. So if you want to see where people pinged on the map on your side, you'll be able to view that. You'll be able to view the chat. It records chat. It records everything that you did. Um, there, like I said, there are a couple of bugs. Um, one being that if you're looking at an area that you did not look at in game during the actual game, the animations will be slightly off and you won't be able to see the HP bars of the minions or people. However, everything else will play out fine, which in my opinion, they said that they're going to fix this. I, I believe that they're actually going to be able to fix it for the replay function. And I'm not too worried about that because this is something a far step beyond, you know, just simply recording your game. And I'm perfectly fine with the tiny little glitches in order to have an actual replay function. I actually enjoy that a lot. You're also able to actually fast forward the game uh, by five second increments. Right now, I don't actually recommend doing that uh, simply because it, it tends to sometimes if you use it too much, kind of bug it out just slightly. You just use it by hitting the number key uh, plus sign. But uh, I typically don't. Um, you guys can try it yourselves, but on my computer, I have a good computer, but it just seemed to desync it just slightly. However, if you do have a 30 minute game, you know, go ahead and use that to get up to speed where you need to be. But it, this is quite a impressive third party application. I, this is the first real replay function that LOL has had. And I'm excited to see where this is going. I'm excited to see the, the capabilities of this. I don't know about you guys. Um, now, at this point, I'm going to just exit out of this and I'm going to show you exactly where you'll go to actually find your replays if you want to send them to me. So what you'll do is you'll go to whichever folder that you had the LOL replay installed in. And when you open up the folder there, you'll notice that there is a specific folder called replays. So when you click on replays, you'll see a, a replay name, uh, the date, or whatever you renamed it to if you renamed it in the client, along with another folder that have a, another item rather that have a .tmp or temp basically. Um, what you want to do is you want to send me both of those files. So you'll send the initial replay and then the TMP. I don't actually know if the TMP is required. But for safe, you know, reasons, I wish for you to send me both of those. Now, if you renamed them to whatever, then they'll both rename that. And you just send them to me. You'll notice the file size is very small, 525 kilobytes, 884 kilobytes versus 40 gigabytes, you know, in comparison for the full game. This is only five minutes granted, but, you know, you can imagine a full game only being five to ten megabytes. That's not, that's no sweat. That's anything anybody can send it to me. And if it's below 10 megabytes, you could simply just send it to me in a Gmail you know, in a Gmail email, it wouldn't actually matter at all. If it's slightly larger, you just get a small file sharing program or application or whatever online and send it to me that way. It's not a big deal to send something this small. Anyways, you just take these files, send them to me, give me a description of what it is. Um, this is in case for, you know, lead top 10, top 10 plays. And I will be able to go through it, find that actual area, and then record it on my side at full quality. And then use that in their replays. And I'm actually really excited to do this. This is actually a viable solution for us to actually start up the top 10 plays again. And I'm sorry that I'm just kind of rushing through this or, you know, my commentary is kind of scatterbrained right now. But I just wanted to quickly make a video about this so you can see how you would do it. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions about it, just feel free to post them in the comments. I'll try to answer anything I know. I don't know terribly too much about the, the workings of the program other than that it intercepts how, you know, where people move and then it just replays that. Um, and I'll try to see if I can get in contact with the developer to perhaps get you some more information. But until then, just use this. I'll write a little commentary of how, you know, steps to actually record your video in the comments, uh, or rather in the description of the video, in case you guys want to just read it. And until then, I will be looking forward to seeing your clips. Um, Top 10 Plays is back. Viable, finally. One thing, oh, one thing before I go. Uh, it does break every patch. What I mean by break is because the game uses predefined data for each champion to actually replay it on the screen, if a new patch changes a champion, changes values, changes you know what their spells do, it breaks the replay because those aren't available to the replay to actually show it again. So if you want to send me something uh, that you did in a replay or something, you need to send it to me ASAP and you need to stress, you know, 
that you know you need this is for this patch or this is for this one because if I try to view it using a newer League of Legends launcher application, it's not going to work. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, until they figure out a way to fix that so where it doesn't break every patch, uh, just make sure to send it to me as soon as possible so that I can record that clip. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to send in to me. And until next time, this is Spunkify out. I'll see you later.